New year, new you, right? Well, if weight loss or just living a healthier life in general is one of your goals, you might be watching what you eat and hitting the gym, as everybody does. But as you do that, you should also be watching how you sleep. Jennifer Austin explains how it plays a huge role in your diet. The key to a healthier lifestyle is diet and exercise, right? Hold on, something's missing. It is diet, it is exercise, it is sleep. It's all three of those. And That's Dr. Michael Howell, and those are actual mountains behind him. He's in Montana at a conference giving talks about sleep because he's a sleep expert with M Health Fairview in the U of M Medical School. There's a very close relationship between um, what you're eating, how you're sleeping at night, and then how you sleep at night, driving the food choices you make, how much calories you take in. There are a number of things at work here. Like, notice how you're more likely to go for sugar when you're tired? That's not a coincidence. When you are sleep deprived, your brain is trying to make sense of this, and it's probably coming to the conclusion that you need a readily available energy source immediately. Dr. Howell says sleep deprivation affects function in the frontal lobe of our brain. And poor judgment typically ensues. When we are sleep deprived, we, our brains turn into uh, it, the, what our brains were like when we were teenagers. We lose our frontal lobe function, our executive function that helps provide us a little bit more wisdom, uh, shall we say, and we're more likely to make impulsive decisions. And consider this study, which found just one night of sleep deprivation increased levels of the hormone which makes you feel hungry. We don't feel as full. Uh, as we do otherwise. So we will eat, we will eat more uh, and we'll eat more often. So if you want to get on a better track with your sleep, Dr. Howell recommends a few things to start. First, watch what you eat before bed. Avoid caffeine. Try to avoid alcohol. Start paying attention to your natural sleep rhythm so that the times your body wants to go to bed and get up in the morning and stay consistent with that. He also recommends naps. If you can have time to take them, love a good nap.